Announcement. Popular anime updates. Number 1. Known in Japan as Shingeki no Kyojin and popularly known as Attack on Titan just dropped the trailer for its fourth and final season. MAPPA will be in charge of the animation production. The studio steps in after WIT Studio adapted the first three season. The original fall 2020 release date was removed in the announcement. Studio MAPPA has some big shoes to fill with the previous work created by WIT Studio for the Attack on Titan anime, but from the recently released trailer and this new poster, it's clear that the animation studio is definitely working their hardest to make sure that the final season is a good one. Though the release date for the series return is still up in the air, we're crossing our fingers that it will be sooner rather than later. The final season's trailer is out to all media domains. First released in 2013, the series is set in a world where humans live behind walls to protect themselves against human-eating giants. The story follows a boy named Aren Yeager who joins the military to fight the monsters who destroyed his hometown and threatened humanity's way of life. The first three seasons are available for streaming on Netflix. Number 2. Demon Slayer, Kometsu no Yeba, announces Kyojuro Rengoku manga spin-off. Kyojuro Rengoku from Demon Slayer, Kometsu no Yeba, is getting his very own manga series. The latest issue of Shonen Jump magazine confirms that a spin-off titled, Kometsu no Yeba, Rengoku Gaiden, is in the works. Ryoji Hirano, who is creating the spin-off, shared a glimpse at the fan-favorite character. Rengoku was quick to win hearts at the Demon Slayer, Kometsu no Yeba, anime series, which follows the story of Tanjiro Kamado, who becomes a Demon Slayer after tragedy befalls his family. He is also making an appearance at the film sequel, Kometsu no Yeba, the movie, Mug and Train, which is set to hit Philippine theaters this year. The film sequel to the 2019 hit anime series, Demon Slayer, Kometsu no Yeba, is coming to the Philippines. Odex Private Limited announced that the Kimetsu no Yeba the movie, Mug and Train, a direct film sequel to the series, will be coming soon, to Philippine cinemas. Kimetsu no Yeba, an anime series based on the manga by Koyoharu Gotoge, has won several awards since its release, including Best TV Anime at the 2019 New Type Anime Awards. It follows the story of Tanjiro Kamado, a young boy who makes the journey of becoming a demon slayer after his family is slaughtered and his younger sister Nezuko is turned into a demon. The upcoming film is also based on the manga and covers events that follow where the anime series ends. Kimetsu no Yeba the movie, Mug and Train, is set for release on October 16, 2020 in Japan. Number 3, Inuyasha, sequel in the works. An entire generation of anime fans are currently freaking out because get this, Inuyasha, is getting a sequel. Biz Media confirmed the news on its website and said a new adventure titled, Yashahim, Princess Half Demon, is in the works. This time, the series will follow the children of Sesamaru and Inuyasha. Yes, children, you heard that right. Here is the synopsis for the series. Set in feudal Japan, half-demon twins Tawa and Setsuna are separated from each other during a forest fire. While desperately searching for her younger sister, Tawa wanders into a mysterious tunnel that sends her into present-day Japan, where she is found and raised by Kagome Higurashi's brother, Soda, and his family. Ten years later, the tunnel that connects the two eras has reopened, allowing Tawa to be reunited with Setsuna, who is now a demon slayer working for Kohaku. But to Tawa's shock, Setsuna appears to have lost all memories of her older sister. Joined by Moroha, the daughter of Inuyasha and Kagome, the three young women travel between the two eras on an adventure to regain their missing past. The iconic anime, Inuyasha, aired in the Philippines in the early 2000s, and easily became one of the most cherished animes of all time. It followed the story of Inuyasha, a half-dog demon, and 15-year-old human Kagome, who was transported from modern-day Tokyo to the Sengoku period of Japan.